In 2022, cave explorers in southern China found what may be the equivalent of the lost world. Down 630 feet in a sinkhole lied a hidden ancient forest with a shoulder high flora and tall trees. Measuring at 5 million cubic meters, researchers believe there may be undiscovered species of animals and plants in this ancient hidden world that lays within the earth. The idea of another world laying under the surface of this world is not a new one, and this finding leads us to speculate to what just is under our feet. In 1997, a man named Mel claimed his well may have been a portal to somewhere else entirely, inner earth or perhaps another dimension. There are a number of areas across the world that are known to be energetic hotspots from ley lines to ancient megaliths that are said to be or produced interdimensional gateways. There's growing interest in the theory that ancient civilizations had a different type of connection to the earth and the larger world that we disregard today, that somehow either with lost technology or some other means that our ancestors were able to detect energetic fields and these types of portals. They seem to identify particular places that were considered anom anomalous, and in these areas we find temples built that withstand the tests of time. Places like the Gates of the Gods in Puerto de Jaya, Marca in Peru. Sitting at 23 feet high and wide, this megalith appears to be a doorway that leads to nowhere, that is carved into the rock face. Legend says that when the Spanish conquistadors came to Peru, a priest used this portal to escape. The priest placed a golden disc known as the Key to the God's Seven Rays into the socket in the center of the door, which opened a portal, allowing him to walk through the stone, never to be seen again. In the 80s, a story came out of Russia that engineers drilled a borehole so deep they had to stop drilling because the drill bit reached such high temperatures that it wasn't able to drill anymore. When they pulled the drill out, the hole measured 7.5 miles deep or 12 kilometers. Afterwards, there appeared some odd geological anomalies. An extremely heat-tolerant microphone and other sensory equipment was sent down the hole. The temperature was reported to reach 1000 degrees Celsius, and during this recording, the sounds of what seemed to be torturous screaming could be heard. Legend had it that this hole was a portal straight to hell, and the screams were that of the tortured souls. In 1997, a man named Mel Waters went on the famous show Coast to Coast AM, a talk radio show. He discussed a hole that lay laid within the boundaries of the land he had purchased near Ellensburg, Washington. According to him, the hole was used by locals as a sort of dumping ground for generations. He said that the hole would never fill up, no matter how much garbage was thrown into the well. When things were thrown into it, people would listen to hear the thud of the item hitting the ground or water, but nothing was ever heard. During one interview with Art Bell, Mel told a frightening tale in which the locals used the hole to discard the scrap left from old equipment to dead livestock. He claimed, though, that just because it was thrown down the hole, it did not mean it would stay there. He claimed that one day one of his neighbors decided to discard his dead dog into the well. It wasn't until much later on that he saw that same dog running alive in the forest, wearing the exact same collar around his neck as it was wearing when it was thrown into the hole. 
people who came across the hole or come near it say that there's something creepy and sinister about it and the wildlife that inhabits the area around it. Animals would completely avoid going near the hole. Water said that his own dog dug its claws into the ground angrily like he was frightened or ready to attack whatever was there, or seemed to be there, and he would never go near the hole. Even small creatures were not ever seen. It was like there was some radius of an area that living things wanted to avoid. Even the birds up above would change the flight path to avoid flying over the hole. Waters tried measuring how deep this hole went, and no matter how many times in different ways he tried to measure it, the pit seemed to swallow the endless lengths of line, never hitting the bottom. This began to consume Waters. The endless pit and the mis mysteries began to take him over. He had fed over 15 miles of line to try and measure the bottom, and he could never reach the bottom. It was like an endless pit. The hole even featured reports that the hole had the ability to absorb light, making the void appear even darker and darker. And then there was the black beams that started shooting upwards from the hole into the sky, defying any natural known phenomena. Red Elk was an intertribal sh shaman who became intertwined with Mel's hole. He had a rich background in Native American traditions, and he claimed a number of things about the hole. He said that the hole wasn't just a geological anomaly, it was a portal connecting the earthly realms with other realms, hearkening of an ancient prophecies and native legends in which these portals were both revered and feared by indigenous tribes. He also claimed that there was a series of intricate subterranean tunnels that linked this and other mysterious holes around the earth together and were once used as pathways used by ancient civilizations. He also claimed that the hole had spiritual guardians protecting it, in which those that had pure intentions would be allowed access to the portal, but those with malice or greed might face repercussions. He believed that the hole was intentionally sealed and that in a future time its true purpose and power would be revealed, a mysterious foreboding hint at future events that may change our understanding of our world. And even the government apparently had some involvement in the hole as well. Apparently, shortly after Mal shared his story on Coast to Coast, his property surrounding the hole was seized by unnamed government ent entities. He said that not only was his land taken, but he was forcibly moved to another state. An alternative property was given to him as compensation. The hole also laid in proximity to the military site that spurred speculation that the military was aware of the whole strange anomalies. When Mel one day tried to return to his property, he was stopped by intimidating individuals who seemed to be guarding the whole area. The road to the hole was closed off and locals reported an increase in military activity around the area. But the military to this day remains tight-lipped about it. There's no denials, clar cl clarifications, or confirmations about any of this or the hole. A few more mysterious things about the hole involved Mel finding a creature near the hole, which seemed oddly like a sheep or a lamb, but had a peculiar look to it. It bore a single centered eye and had flippers instead of legs. And Mel claimed that this creature attempted to communicate with him, which Mel said was a message of sadness. The locals often reported hearing strange sounds coming from the hole, ranging from murmurs like people having a conversation nearby to voices that seemed much, much more distant. The story and legend became so popular that eventually local news began to investigate the claims, and they found no public record of anyone with the name of Mel Waters ever owning property or residing in Katata's country, county. According to the state, Department of Natural Resources geologists said the hole does not exist and is geologically impossible. They state that a hole of that depth would collapse into itself under the tremendous pressure of heat from the surrounding strata. They say this hole was just an ordinary old mine shaft on private property and it inspired local stories that became larger than life, but eventually making it onto the Coast to Coast show. But, like always, always with this show that we provide, we offer up the premise of what you want to believe and what is the truth. 
The government on any level is not known for its truthfulness. Rather, if you look at government, you can see lies and omissions and half-truths. But in this mundane world, there is only ever half-truths. Are there portals to other realms or portals to other dimensions? Well, even science tells us this is theoretically possible on some level. However, it is not known whether something like a Mel's Hole portal could exist or be stable enough to exist if it could manifest. On the other side, the story sounds too fantastical and touches on many types of sci-fi horror type tropes for it to be taken completely at face value. People tend to embellish things and then stories can become legends and whatever actual truth is there gets lost in the fantastical. For me, this does tend to fall into the category of something that became lost in said fantastical and that anything that really may have occurred there is now lost into the sea of fabrication and embellishment and also ridicule. It is also to be considered that portals may not lead to things like another dimension or universe that has four dimensions like ours. That something or some things of this physical world can travel in these sort of portals, allowing strange behavior of animals and odd feelings in people who surround the well. And it is, it is possible that we are beings with many different dimensions ourselves and our conscious minds can only conceive and perceive the ones we know of or on the fringe of knowing or feel. But now it's time for you to tell me what you think. Are these portals and holes real? Was Mal just a big fraud? Let me know in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out a small channel like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.